What's God's judgment on places where Christians are not welcomed? What should be our chief joy? Who's our neighbor? Is listening to Jesus a priority for us? Let's look at Luke 10. How many were sent, or apostled in Greek, on a mission trip? The Lord now chose 72, or 70 other disciples, and sent, or apostled them, ahead in pairs to all the towns and places he planned to visit. These were his instructions to them. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now go and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Don't take any money with you, nor a traveler's bag, nor an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. What were they to do to find out if they and their message were welcome? Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. If a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in that same house, eating and drinking the things that they give, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. Don't go from house to house. Into whatever city you enter, and they receive you, eat the things that are set before you. Heal the sick who are there, and tell them God's kingdom has come near to you. What were they to do if they found that they were not welcome? Whenever you enter a city, and the people don't welcome you, go out into the streets and say, as a complaint against you, we brush off the dust of your city that is collected on our feet. But know this, God's kingdom has come to you. I assure you that Sodom will be better off on Judgment Day than that city. What was God's judgment on cities where they were not welcomed? You people of Chorazin are in trouble. You people of Bethsaida are also in for trouble. If the miracles that took place in your towns had happened in Tyre and Zidon, the people there would have turned to God long ago. They would have dressed in sackcloth and put ashes on their heads. On the day of judgment, the people of Tyre and Zidon will get off easier than you will. People of Capernaum, do you think you'll be honored in heaven? Well, you'll go down to hell. My followers, whoever listens to you, is listening to me. Anyone who says no to you is saying no to me. And anyone who says no to me is really saying no to the one who sent me. What did the missionaries report upon their return? What should be our chief joy? The 72 or 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I've given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, don't rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. What was Jesus' joyful prayer? What secret did he share with his disciples? In that same hour he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, because this was your good pleasure. All things have been entrusted to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son desires to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, he said privately, The eyes that see the things you see are blessed. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see the things you see, yet didn't see them. To hear the things that you hear, yet didn't hear them. Of 613 commandments in the law, which is the most important? Just then an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. He asked, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, What's written in the law? What do you read there? 
He answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And you must love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus told him, You've answered correctly. Do this and you'll live. But the man wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? How did Jesus answer the question, Who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatsoever you spend more, when I come again, I'll repay you. Which now of these three do you think was neighbor to him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go, and you do likewise. What did Jesus teach at the home of Martha and Mary about priorities? Now as they were traveling along, he entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. And she had a sister called Mary, who was also seated at the Lord's feet, listening to his word. But Martha was distracted with all her preparations, and she came up to him and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister's left me to do all the preparations alone? Then tell her to help me. But the Lord answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you're worried and bothered about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. For Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. What is God's judgment on places where Christians are not welcomed? What should be our chief joy? Who's our neighbor? Is listening to Jesus a priority for us? You decide. <music>